It is September 8th and we are in Idaho up into the hills again. We discovered this area last year and it is just one of those crazy things how things happen. My vehicle broke down. Nate Smith, I ran, he and I bumped in. He was coming off the mountain while we were coming in with our gear and he volunteered and towed my rig back 20 miles to town to get it fixed and we've been friends ever since and he's been kind enough to kind of show us a, some areas around here because this is all new to us as of last year in 2020. So this morning we get the pleasure to hunt with Nate and um, we're here we are opener elk season archery Idaho backcountry DIY getting after it really excited about it's, getting it's out exciting. here exciting it's about time you got here it, it's been <laughs> fun so far but now that you're here nothing's gonna happen <laughs> but you've been hunting here pretty much all your life yeah 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 i grew up up here so this is my backyard yeah so it's not that often that you know i'm coming in from michigan nate height uh filmmakers coming in from minnesota so here we are from the midwest and uh we have a native of idaho it's a really great opportunity for us as we learn this country, just like anybody else that would come out and do a DIY hunt in the national forest and so forth and public land is, is befriend people who know the country, don't step on their, their areas where they hunt, but just kind of learn it. And, and we're off this morning, maybe a little bit early for a lot of bugling, but um, I guarantee you Nate's gonna know where some elk are and we'll probably have eyes on on elk as the day breaks and great <laughs> <laughs> now now there's no pressure yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no it'll be good we'll, we'll find out so here we go guys Anchor that you forgot to take in, 
you want to go somewhere, you can't get there. <laughs> That's kind of like Heidi. He's that boat anchor. Have you ever been on a boat, but you just can't go fast enough? I just keep stopping all the time. <laughs> Just doesn't know when to pick back up. Keeps making noise for no reason. That's what that, that's what Ken is. I have, I don't even resemble that remark. We gotta buckle down, get serious, man. We only got 14 more days of this. <laughs> we got our camp, we came in in the dark. It is a cluster. So we're gonna go back and organize. It's a little quiet this morning. We just saw small bulbs up on the skyline. Nothing's talking. Nate's thinking, what? maybe slip into a water hole for the last couple hours of daylight tonight, this afternoon. See if we can't get one killed coming in to get a drink. But in the meantime, we're gonna go back. We got a couple hours of organizing camp. And we're gonna wrestle up some fiddles, get a real breakfast. <laughs> No, do you know how I like my sleep? I never said that. I got to go to sleep today. I'm tired. I'll clean those dishes as soon as we get done with breakfast. Nine hours later, oh, I'll get Okay, all right, we're done. We're going to drop down here to this this wallow. Hopefully he comes in before me. Spotted a huge bull right as soon as we ended that conversation. We're coming down here. Shot off. A uh, bull came up over the top, and uh, yeah, we're waiting for him to come down. Hopefully, at this wall, we got nothing. 
of the sagebrush between him and us, so we're kind of stuck where we're at. But he stopped at a little tiny spring up here, and he's getting a drink of water. So, fingers crossed, he comes down another 150 yards, and we get a shot at him. It's not good. That was a bad shot.
fingers during the night. Fingers crossed. Yep. Do you think you got full pass through? Yeah, there was blood on both I sides. I thought so as well. Yep, there was blood on both sides. Um, it looked liver. I know I was far back because he started walking right when I was, right when I was starting right. to pull the trigger. And I smacked him back. Yep. Yep. I mean, as far as up and down, I feel good about that. Yep. Because yep. you're shooting down and yep. you hit him maybe just a tick, maybe a tick high yep. from center. But the, uh, but the opposing's yeah. gonna be through the... I'm hoping, I'm really hoping. And, and so, you know, I mean, he went, he went 300 yards and bedded up. And then the cows kept going up, so he finally stood, stood up. up. And then he he didn't want to gain elevation. Yeah. So he kind of cut kitty corner across those dead trees, like you were saying. Yeah. And then he went just on the other side, and then I could see his his antlers and his blonde body. He was trotting, losing elevation, um, going from left to right. That's good. Last I saw, I, from over there, the last we saw him was when he kind of hit the, went over the rocks and kind of hit that, those, that mm -hmm. tree line right there. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I would have liked to have stay in that bed, you know, till yeah. dark. Yeah. And, but, hey, he, he laid down, he's sick. Yeah. You know, he's not feeling well, for sure. It's a beautiful bull. Oh yeah, you know. yeah. Really I mean, the, and the plan and the strategy was phenomenal. And, you know, he come down. Of course, all those elk, you guys, you know, right past us. Yeah. So the he, broadhead did everything he was gonna do, and uh, he's gonna be dead in the morning. Yeah, I I, I agree with that. God God that. willing, he'll be he'll and, die and, fast and, and, and not, not that, being in. And, and Lord willing, we'll find where he bedded down, and then where he went up from there, and then when he hooked down, and that low exit wound is going to be letting us track him. Yep. Oh, wow. Yes, we got blood. Okay. Blood. That's... That's liver all day long right there. Dark red blood, there's there's no yeah. gut it looks like on it. That. Oh buddy, there's no gut smell. No, that's he's dead. He'll be dead by morning. Found, Nate found blood right away and uh, this is where we saw him on the side hill as they were gaining elevation headed for that saddle so in, in the amount of blood we're seeing we're happy with it's um, so we're gonna go up to where we think we know where he laid down and, and see what's happening there and then pick him up and but so far so good we're not we're not discouraged one bit it's what we were hoping for more than not hoping for Blood, blood, blood. So, more blood right here. More blood. He starts going up and it starts leaking out of him a lot more. Oof. Oof. Yeah, that's all right there. Ooh. 
Ooh, wow. Neat. Sweet. Congratulations. Uh, I am so happy for you. Thanks, man. Dang. Thanks. Glad we could get it done. Look, he is no slouch. Look at that mass. Yeah. What a beautiful bull. Oh, he's a five by six. Sure's a world. Oh, no. Five by One, seven. two, three, four. <laughs> Dang. I'm so happy you stayed on that blood trail. Because what a lesson to learn is we are coming across and we think we have his pat where he's going up down this and that and his when he, as soon as he started losing elevation man the blood got thin very very thin very hard to see thin it was you stayed on it nate and i kind of one high one low zigzagging trying to, trying to zigzag trying to spot look see if he went over that bench and that son of a gun made another hundred yards or so from, yep. and then he lost it. Yep. What a wonderful lesson that is to stay on the blood. It, it's frustrating because it, it is slow going. It'll be like a drop and then like it could be 50 yards and you're on your hands and knees, but you'll find it. You'll find the blood eventually. Yep. It's, it's worth staying on it. Yep. Man, look at the mane on him. Head in, in him from probably last year. Try to try to pull it out. We may it may be stuck on the shoulder on the other side though. We may not be able to get it out until that's the shaft, the carbon shaft. Right yep. There. Yeah, we may have to wait until we flip him over to pull it out. I think so. I'm hitting on something hard. Yep. That is wild. That is wild. That is very interesting. I'll tell you how strong those animals are. The scar tissue that he just even built around it. Oh, I know. It's almost, you almost can't cut through it. There you go. Huh. I'm not quite familiar with that to know exactly what head that is. I'm not 100% sure either. But it's a cut on contact. Yep. That is sweet. That is a head that I've seen. You know. We, gotta, we, we just thank, put the pack on. We have to thank our beautiful wives for letting us do this getting to come out and do this all the time and being so understanding you got to have a support team to do this is you can't do it alone so grateful to have her i did all that <laughs> mrs <laughs> mrs b you know it so outside of sore muscles and all that type of thing of coming out of there heavy and we tired, are tired feet we are, we are thrilled to death. We're humbled with our, you know, just being able to get out there and get after it. You know, we're just thankful that the animals didn't suffer long. No, he, I, I... As you said, he was probably dead before we got back to the rig. Yeah, last night. Last night. Yeah. And so we, we deboned him, butchered him up, packed him up, quartered him up, and he's in the, he's in the grizzly cooler right now, and we, we're tired, but we're gonna go back, get a big meal, and, and, uh, you know, rejoice in this awesome day that we had. We love the feedback, we love the engagement, so please share, like, subscribe, 
be a part of hooked hunting. We're trying to um, show that it doesn't take a tremendous amount of resources and money, maybe some organizations, some good friends that you can count on one another out in this country. This is all public land hunting and, and you can do it too. All right, make sure you like, subscribe, ring that notification bell for more videos yet to come and we'll see you in the next video.